Rocket Science Banjo. Lesson 2, Drop Thumb. Drop Thumb is identical to playing on the fifth string. It's just closer to the finger. So that instead of hitting the fifth string, you hit, say, the second string. you do to change what string you're hitting is change the distance between the thumb and the index finger. That gets you fifth string, second string, third string, fourth string. This should be practiced extremely slowly and carefully. You basically want to do it right no matter what. So take it at speeds like this, and don't worry about hitting extra strings. If it happens, it happens. If you can't get it exact at that speed, slow it down to Whatever it takes to get it right. Only when you're 100% confident of that do you move on to any other strings. And I suggest going first to using the first string on the finger against the third string on the thumb. This is still rocket science. It's still the thumb snapping forward to cause that hand to snap back. This puts you on the forefront of science, where claw hammer banjo belongs. Once you've got the third string, move on to the fourth, then move on to using the finger on the second string against the third and fourth. A lot of people say you should never drop thumb on the fourth string. They're basically wrong. They may do what they like. It's really great to be able to hit that fourth string. It's the only bass string you got. So, once you can do all of that, then you can start playing around with exercises like this. Anything to get your hand working and doing that motion on the inner strings with the thumb. Once again, family problems. You're doing just enough so that they can't complain. Um, and here's a piece of music to illustrate that, if I can remember it. Yeah, when I can't.